but they are exception. Just now we say, oh, company make money, share price go up. But there are some funny thing. Eh. The funny thing is sometimes company make money, the share price go down. Yeah. So I share with the exception eh, so that covers all angle. Now, there are some weird case where company make money, they release good news or bad news. Good news. But for some strange reason, eh, that could not explain by science, eh, people sell stocks. Yeah. And when most people sell stocks, again, the share price move up and down. Move down. Because the only reason why the share price go down is most people sell stocks. So the share price go down. So if I put it diagrammatically, eh, how does it look like? The company makes more money, right? It becomes more and more valuable. But the share price goes down. So let's do a quick recap. The share price can go down, but not the intrinsic what? Value. So the lower the share price, the lower the risk, the higher the return. So let me put it diagrammatically. Okay, so I don't share with theory. Uh. I show you there is one case uh, where the company make more and more money, but the share price keep dropping. It's a stock that I, I bought previously. Remember I show you? Give a guess, what was the stock that I openly? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I show you numbers. Uh. Now, right now it's 1.3. Uh. Yeah, but previously I bought it at about uh, 1.4. Then after I bought 1.4, it dropped to 1.2. After I bought at 1.2, uh, it dropped to 1. After I bought at 1, it becomes 0 0.9. Yeah. So the share price keep falling you know, until here it was 0 0.95. Now, this is the price of value. Okay, price of value. So we must understand again uh, that the price can drop but not the intrinsic value. So how do we establish the intrinsic value? Remember in our VA calculator, we put in the earnings per share, right? It blah, 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 they calculate the intrinsic value, right? Now, let me show you the financial report and you tell me whether is the company become more and more valuable or less and less valuable. Now, this is the latest that I can find. Uh. So let me explain this. Uh, oh, let me finish up this one, then you can take a photo. Uh. Now, so what, how it works is this company is comparing one quarter in 2017, the third quarter, with the third quarter in 2018. So it's quarter to quarter. Okay, so three months to three months. So when you compare three months to three months, uh, the net profit rise by how many percent? No, it's like your salary increased by 85%. Well, suddenly you're feeling different, right? Your salary increased by 85%. Then the profit margin, profit margin, 26.8 increased to 32.7. Okay, then the EPS, remember this used to calculate intrinsic value, right? The EPS increased by how many percent? Yeah, so if your EPS uh, put more and more, uh, the intrinsic value at the bottom should increase or decrease? Increase. So this is quarter to quarter. Now here is they compare three quarter to three quarter. That means the first three quarter of 2017 and the first three quarter of what? 2018. This is a single quarter, single quarter. This is three quarter with three quarter. So when you compare three quarter to three quarter, the change is what? Went up by 154%. The gross margin went from 26 to 34. And this one, uh, EPS uh, went up by 148. Now, so if you look at this, look at this. Uh, the value of the company, without even calculating the intrinsic value. The value of company, does, is it going up or going down? So right now, we have a situation where the value goes up and the share price goes down. Okay, now, I give you five seconds. What is the opportunity? Well, most people see this. Now, most people see this, uh, they didn't see this. And because they see this in isolation, it's a problem. Because this is what they see. But what you see is you see this plus this. Okay, I give you five seconds. What's the opportunity? Buy. Okay, let me show you the diagram. Now, this is, this is subsequently. Uh, we are seeing this price dropping. We are seeing the company make more and more money. Yeah, This is the most ideal situation uh, in the stock market where the company makes more and more money, the price keep what? Dropping. Remember, the price can drop and not the intrinsic value. So when the share price get lower and lower, your risk becomes lower and lower and your profit becomes higher. higher. The ultimate scenario uh, that we want to see in the stock market is the company make more and more money and the share price keep dropping. This is the ultimate scenario. And because gamblers, speculators, they don't see this, right? Because they don't see this, they are slow to respond. They are slow to respond. Huh? Then eventually when the company keep releasing good results, then the gamblers were thinking, hey, what's going on? How can I keep reading good news? Remember, they don't understand. Huh? So, oh, how come they, oh, good news. They go, hey, my friend buy. My friend buy, my neighbor also buy. Uh, the uncle cut hair, one also buy. So, <laughs> so what they do? They jump in and buy. Huh? And because the don't know anything one jump in and buy, the share price go what? up. So the know something one always come first. The, the, those people who know nothing uh, always follow. Which is why it's important for us to know something versus know nothing. And sometimes people think education is expensive. So remember, my average purchase price for this stock, I think is about 1.19 or whatever. So right now it's 1.3. Now you are neither, wrong, neither right or wrong uh, because the crowd disagree with you. You are right because your data and your reasoning is what? 
Right. So when the share price falls, I keep looking at it. My reasoning, is it right or wrong? Reasoning right or wrong? So I need to establish that I'm right, my reasoning is right, and the rest is wrong. Yeah. And only when I establish this, so that when the share price keep falling, I will keep what? Buying. Without data analysis, you will not have the courage to do what you do against the type. Yeah. Then the next one. Before you invest, you must ensure that you realistically assess your probability of being right. And how you, re re how you will react to the consequences of being wrong. Now, because we want to react in case we are, we are being wrong, so what do we do? We put a margin of safety. Okay, very good. Okay, in case you want to take photo. Okay, let me do this quickly. So what kind of company keep losing money and the share price keep going up? Can you give me an example Tesla. during the training? Tesla. It's Tesla. Wow, losing money. Actually, this line should go below zero. One, uh. Yeah, so I'm giving them face up by showing above. Yeah, so the share price keep going up. So what happened is the risk is like that. The return is like that. Right? Can you please take a photo of this? Now, if somebody on Facebook say buy Tesla, well, I think the person obviously do not know what's the value. That's why there's a quote. They say every, but most people know the price of everything because the everyday see price, huh? but knows the value of nothing. I have no idea why the share price go up. Yeah. So maybe the car got wings, huh? the wings fly up, so the share price go up. Now, let me show you the numbers. EPS, positive or negative? negative. Wow, now this one, the, the swimming pool like that. Eh? <laughs> Drown, you know. Operating cash flow, most of it negative. There's only one year positive. ROA, all negative. ROA, all negative. It returns nothing. ROE negative, returns nothing. And the, and the worst case is the debt keep going what? Up. So how can this be a good company? Now, so if that's the case, I give a guess. Why do people buy Tesla stock? What, what's the thing that they bet on? The they bet on the founder. Maybe one day the founder will go to Mars or whatever. Now, so what are the things that they bet on? Now, this is my opinion. Uh, this is not an analyst opinion. Now, I just want to share with you the Elon Musk, uh, who is the founder of Tesla, Solar City. He's very good. Uh, in articulating a dream uh, and make you believe that you will come true and that's the only thing he's good at <gasps> he loved to he loved to tell you dreams and whenever he sell dreams uh, people jump inside by stocks so the moment he sell his dreams suddenly the share price go up people love dreams but remember we're bad investors we do not buy dreams we buy into the value of the company